Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel again. Today we're diving into the world of military technology and exploring the fascinating story behind India's Arjun tank. This beast of a machine pays homage to the legendary archer Prince Arjuna from the Mahabharata, and it's a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. So grab some popcorn and let's get started. The journey of the Arjun tank began after the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War. India saw the need to develop a formidable main battle tank that could hold its own against any adversary. And so, the Arjun was born. The development work spanned from 1986 to 1996, and it was officially inducted into the Indian Army in 2004. Now, let's talk specs. The Arjun is equipped with a 120M rifled main gun, a 7.62M coaxial machine gun, and a 12.7M machine gun. Powered by a mighty 1,400 horsepower multi-fuel diesel engine from MTU, this tank can reach a top speed of 70 km per hour and 40 km per hour cross-country. And with a four-man crew, it has been favorably compared to the T-90 tanks and trials, showcasing superior accuracy and mobility. One of the most impressive aspects of the Arjun is its fire control system, which has been integrated into domestically produced T-90 tanks. This integration speaks volumes about the tank's advanced technology and the confidence the Indian Army has in its capabilities. The Arjun tank family is a diverse one, with various specialized variants that serve unique purposes. The initial variant, known as the Arjun MK1, was introduced in 2004 and featured Kanchan composite armor, a 120M rifled gun, and an indigenous fire control system. Unfortunately, the BIM SPH variant, a 155M self-propelled howitzer, was cancelled due to corruption concerns. But the story doesn't end there. The Arjun MK1A is a significant upgrade from its predecessor. It boasts a redesigned turret with improved Kanchan armor and ERA stands for Explosive Reactive Armor. It also introduces enhancements like NERA stands for Non-Explosive Reactive Armor Protection, the integration of the gun-launched SAMHO anti-tank guided missile, advanced sighting systems, and even an auxiliary power unit for reduced signature and improved ambush capabilities. Talk about a tank that keeps pushing boundaries. But the Arjun tank's evolution doesn't stop with the MK-1A, there are plans in the works for the Arjun Mark II, which will feature even more advanced components like a new turret, main gun, and an active protection system. The Indian government is actively investing in cutting-edge technologies like artificial intelligence and robotics to take the Arjun tank's performance to another level. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the real deal. The Indian Army currently operates 124 Arjun Mark I tanks, and they have ordered an additional 118 Arjun Mark I-A tanks, set to be delivered by 2025. These Mark I-A tanks come with some serious upgrades, including a new fire control system, a more robust engine, and improved armor protection. But wait, there's more. The Indian Army has its eyes set on the future with the development of the future main battle tank, also known as the Arjun MK2 or NGMBT. This tank, still in the works, will be lighter than previous Arjun variants and equipped with advanced electro-optical sights. Rumor has it that it might even feature a high-power laser weapon alongside its main gun. Now that's something out of a sci-fi movie. The specifics of the main gun are still pending, but you can bet it will fire high-velocity projectiles for extended ranges and possess network-centric warfare capabilities. Weighing in at around 50 tons, the FMBT is set to replace India's T-72 fleet. And with an indigenous 1,500 HP or 1,800 HP engine and an automatic Bharat power pack transmission, this baby is ready to rule the battlefield. The Arjun tank program hasn't been without its challenges, though. Delays and cost escalations arose due to revisions to the original requirements. The program costs increased significantly from 15.50 crore rupee in 1974 to 307.48 crore rupee in 1995. But despite the hiccups, the Indian Army saw the potential and approved limited production of the tank, leading to the order for 124 Arjun MK-1 tanks in 2000. It's clear that India is serious about bolstering its defense capabilities, and the Arjun tank plays a vital role in that strategy. 
With a diverse range of variants, continuous upgrades, and plans for the future, the Indian Army is committed to staying at the forefront of military technology. Well, that wraps up our exploration of the Arjun tank and its fascinating journey in the world of military technology. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the realm of armored behemoths and cutting-edge warfare, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more engaging content. So until next time, keep exploring and stay tuned for our next adventure into the world of technology.